Now that the clutch has been removed, the following inspections must be made. Inspect the mating surfaces of the transmission clutch housing and the engine flywheel housing. Any appreciable wear on either housing will cause misalignment. Most wear will be found on the lower half of these surfaces with the most common wear areas between the 3 and 8 o'clock positions. Replace the clutch housing if it is worn. Begin by wiping all surfaces before gauging. Secure the dial indicator to the engine flywheel housing with the gauge finger on the face of the flywheel near the outer edge. Rotate the flywheel or crankshaft. For an easy pedal clutch, the maximum allowable runout is eight thousandths of an inch. Move the gauge finger to contact the pilot bearing bore surface. Again, rotate the flywheel. The maximum total allowable runout is five thousandths. If any of these limits are exceeded, the problem must be corrected or misalignment will cause premature wear to the drivetrain components. Next, secure a dial indicator to the engine flywheel or crankshaft and put the gauge finger against the housing pilot. Rotate the flywheel or crankshaft. Use a marker or piece of soapstone to mark the high and low points. The total indicated difference between the high and low points must be eight thousandths or less. Move the gauge finger to contact the face of the engine flywheel housing. Again, rotate the flywheel or crankshaft and then mark high or low points. The total runout should not exceed eight thousandths. If any of these limits are exceeded, the problem must be corrected or misalignment will cause premature wear to the drivetrain components.